What is a projector? What are you? What am I? Who are you? Who am I? Well, as I've mentioned, 20% of the population are projectors. But what actually constitutes a projector? Firstly, we're nine-centered beings, so projectors do not have a defined sacral center. Sacral center is about sensuality. It's about joy. It's about life force. So it generates a lot of energy within the sacral center. Ours is undefined. So this means we're actually a non-energy type, which we'll go into a little bit later. But we don't have a defined sacral center. We also do not have a motor connecting to our throat center. So we don't have direct manifestation power because everything leads to the throat. This is where manifestation takes place. So we don't have a sacral center. We don't have a hugely defined energetic center that's constantly generating energy like generators. And we don't have a motor connected to the throat like manifestors who can manifest things. Now, projectors actually can manifest things. We just need to go about it in a uniquely different way. As a projector, you're here to play. You're here to guide. Now, if we look out into the world at the moment, and if you're in corporate, if you're in these progressive companies that are starting to change, that are starting to bring in mindfulness, starting to bring in well-being, starting to bring in yoga, where maybe the leadership is slightly changing, where it's no more dominating, it's no more top-down, it's more inclusive, it's more wholesome, it's more community-based. So it's not really about leadership, someone at the top speaking down to people below saying this is what needs to happen, this is what needs to happen. Yes, there can be clarity, yes, there can be wisdom, but it's more about guidance. And this is where projectors come in because we're actually here to guide energy. And we guide energy by having people discover themselves at a deeper level, having others know where to focus, where to place their energy, but have them come about that in their own timing. So you're sitting there as a projector going, you know, what's my role? Well, your role is to guide energy. And in the meantime, you play, you level up your vibration, you have fun, you study things that you're really interested in, you get out into nature, you go and have fun, you go and play. And then when the timing comes, which we're going into later when we get into the strategy, we're here to guide. And the world is shifting from more leadership to more guidance. And this is where the projectors come in. And you can guide in very deliberate and profound ways just by asking the right question. Just by sharing an insight that's not dictating because your aura is already very penetrative, very direct. So then if we have these really direct words and bang, 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 it can be overwhelming for a lot of people. So as a projector, you're here to guide. In the meantime, you're here to have fun. You're here to play. And hopefully through this training, you can understand your guidance at a deeper level. You can get to understand, okay, how can I really be sensing into my aura? How can I sense into when the invitation's there, when the recognition's there, when life wants me to offer my guidance, when it doesn't? And when you do this, you start to become a, a master of your life, a master of reality, when you can start to sense into the correct timing, sense into when you're here to guide and when you're here to just relax into yourself. Mm -hmm.